hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. All right, what's good, family? So, uh, I think this happened maybe yesterday. Oh, I don't know what day it happened. As a matter of fact, let me see if it shows. Yeah, yesterday. So yesterday we have the benefit to hear. I saw a little video, but it was on the clip, so I'm not going to even put that on there. But the benefit of hearing two goats talk. One of them messaged the other one. I believe he said, like, you're next. Something like that. But Lamar Jackson and Tom Brady talked. So I haven't listened to it yet, so we're going to listen to it together. Hopefully, y'all enjoy. I don't know how long it's going to be, so let's see. Jim, you don't even get a vote, so it doesn't matter what you think. But uh, <laughs> I have a vote, and I just voted. <laughs> okay, well, good. Lamar, you know, I obviously I love seeing you and, and everything you've accomplished this far in, in your career. And you bet on yourself in a lot of different ways, and you got a chip on your shoulder, and I've always appreciated, um, you know, the way you – Obviously, the way that your teammates feel about you, I think that says a lot. You know, that's what I've always realized with the respect of my teammates was what I always sought out. And they do that because, the, the you know, the way you play, the way you care about them and, uh, you know, the way you care about the team. So first time I ever really noticed you was that high school highlight where you put the brakes on the guy and he went flying by. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, not that I've ever had that experience in my entire life. So... <laughs> I, I don't even know what that feels like, uh, but now you're doing that at the highest level, and um, you come a long way. So really happy for you, and love seeing your success. You know, you're the reason why people watch the NFL because guys like you, and uh, you just had an amazing career. So thanks for coming on. I appreciate that. It means yeah, a lot so, from you. <laughs> that means a lot. Uh, real talk. You know, because those highlights and things like that, even what you did in college, you know, going into the draft, a lot of I and mean, a lot of analysts thought you were a running back. Mm -hmm. And, you know, nobody ever called me a running back. I would have taken that as a compliment. <laughs> um, but did you ever did you ever have that kind of like I told you so that chip on your shoulder type moment with all the doubters that, you know, now that you're on the verge of, you know, potentially winning a second MVP? Um, do you, did you have that chip on your shoulder still? Uh, to be honest, I, I definitely do still have that chip on my shoulder. Um, I don't think I don't think uh, I've I have accomplished what I wanted to yet. So that's why that chip is still on my shoulder. What is that that you want to still accomplish? I want that Super Bowl. Like that's that's the you know that's the accolade that I really want. Like so bad, you know. I've been chasing that for a long time. You know since. Since like high school, you know, just winning a, a state championship, you know, college winning a national championship. But since I didn't complete those two, I, I got to complete this one, you know. And I, I feel like we have the team to do it. We have the, the guys in the building, coaching staff, you know, training staff, equipment guys. Like you know, we, we got everything we need right now. So I get that. I, I feel like I'll probably let the, the chip like, you know, just marinate a little bit. I still have it. <laughs> yeah. I think, you know, you're not the only one that says that. I saw Odell, he, you know, he was, after the last game, I think it was, he said is the best team he's ever been on, and that's a guy that's won a Super Bowl. So, you know, what's that mean coming from a guy like Odell? And then, you know, have you, how, how much have you loved, you know, his energy and enthusiasm, all his dance moves, you know, seeing those up close and personal too, and, and obviously him being in a wide receiver room this year. Man, just um, just from him saying that, you know, that making that statement, that that, that means a lot to not just me, but I, I feel to our team because he, like you said, he already won a championship. You know, he's been there, experienced, and know know what it feel like to have one. And you know, with the dance moves and just his energy, just him being himself. You know, at first, Odell, you know, um, he was quiet. You know, he he really was trying to, I, I guess, trying to get a feel for the team. You know, but now yeah. you know he's just being himself. You know, a uh, friendly guy, funny guy. You know. Uh, love making everybody laugh, man. He's still Odell Beckham. You know, he's still making some yeah. attack on the field. You know, when his number's called, it's like, you know, it's no doubt in my mind, you know, I'm going to give him a shot. And he always make a great a great catch up, make something happen for us. What caused you to bet on yourself? What What gave you the confidence, you know, with all of the pressure, not only with the contract, but, you know, 
to just continually have that belief that your feelings and your thoughts superseded all of the all of the external pressure uh just you know just being myself you know um i really wasn't thinking about uh how other people live their life or did their thing you know i was just pretty much like i'm good on you know agents and anything like that because i, I felt i knew what they was there for you know um and it's not a bad thing you know um agents will help you out you know in the business life, you know, you just want to focus on strictly football. But I felt like I had everything, in, you know, in my control. So if, if things, if I have the things that I can control in my hand, I feel like there's no doubt in my mind I will succeed with anything I do. You know, with God on my side, uh, him being the, the, the first person, you know, with anything I do, I'm going to include God, you know, no matter what. And he's helped me every step of the way, and he's helped me now. I had a great relationship with Coach Belichick when I played. And he was a big reason why I was able to be so successful. And so much, I think, the success of, like, young players coming into the league. And when you were, you know, you get drafted to a place that's, you know, had a really good history. You know, there's a good culture of winning. You, They have championship teams, a lot of, you know, Hall of Fame players. And, and you came into a situation with Coach Harbaugh, who's been one of the great coaches in the NFL. So he's had a lot of success. And it seems like, you know, he's always looking for your input in games and the things you want to do. So... You know, how do you feel like your guys' relationship has grown over the years? Uh, it's, it's grown tremendously. Uh, from like you, what you just said, you know, him just, you know, just asking for my opinion with anything. I'm like, man, <laughs> you know, when he asks me for my opinion, I pretty much go to the guys and see how they, the guys feel. You know? <laughs> coach, it's not like he's trying to make it about me, but, you know, it's head coach, then quarterback, you know. But it's like, man, I need my guys to be in sync with me at the same time because those guys busting their, busting their behind as well, just like I am, you know. But if your team, if it's just you making all the decisions and you making it feel like it's just you out there, it's like, nah, that team don't have a chance. But you involving your team after your coach, your head coach coming to you and ask you something, I involve my team. That's just pretty much we in sync with everything we do. So that, that's, that right there is just building a relationship with me, him, and the team as well, you know, not just us. Lamar, how much has your game changed? Uh, how much have you uh, altered um, your game? And, and how much do you think about preservation when you're running that ball all the time? And, and has that caused you to become more of a passer? Oh, my God. I, I believe my I changed my game a lot, just mindset. You know, uh, take, taking what the defense gives me a lot, you know, uh, just knowing when to run. Uh, there's um, – just to serve my body and stuff like that, you know, from when I'm sending defense tied, okay, then, you know, we can get these yards right here, make it more tired, you know, get them more exhausted. So now you can go through your reads, you know, the defense line tied. They don't really, they're really not rushing. So we got more time than we, you know, than we initially have, stuff like that, man. And perseverance with running the ball, I don't know. I just, you know, I just try to make something happen, but play it safe at the same time. <laughs> Tom don't uh, like I, to see you running, do you, Tommy? <laughs> well, I, I mean, it does put you in harm's way, but if there's someone could do it, it's, it's, you know, it's just Lamar's style, and he's so twitchy, and he's so got such a great burst. It's hard to get a clean shot, but I do agree, like, you know, for him to, to, to understand exactly when he's doing the risk-reward associate, and I tell that to Josh when I talk to him, and you know, I see a lot of guys, too. I, I do want to see the quarterbacks protect themselves a little bit more because – it just takes one hit on your shoulder. And, like, we do want a long career. And you have the ability, you know, I I ran for, like, a 1,000 yards in my whole career, 23 seasons. <laughs> How many quarters of football does it take for you to run a 1,000 yards? Like, three? <laughs> I mean, it's it's pretty unbelievable. And, it, and very few people have had that style, you know. I, I was – I think the most unbelievable thing for me is I, I – like – I caught a pass once, right? We did like a quarterback throwback, snapped the ball to the halfback, threw it to the, uh, and I caught it and I ran like 15 yards. I was so tired. <laughs> I actually threw an interception on the next play. I was like, I'm just throwing it up in the air, <laughs> intercepted, and it was like, we lost all our momentum. And I'm sitting here watching you play and I'm like, you never look tired out there. You never yeah. look, and I'm sure you are, but yeah. like, are there games where you come out and you're like, oh man, I'm just, that was too much. I can't do that much. I mean, uh, what game was it this year when I was tired like that? Oh, no. It, it's probably one of the games when I just ran so much. Like, so, <laughs> Coach Monk has caught me sometimes. Like, I can make one of those runs, and I get back, and he's like, oh, what, 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 what? I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, no, right now. At least, you know, not right now, you know. And then I got to make a decision to read, and then it's one of those reads where I got to pull the ball and run, and it's like, bro. 
<laughs> like I done been no, there for no. two times, you know. But I don't know. I, I I guess the kid in me, the kid the kid in me just keeps me like energized. Like really, you know. I don't really think practice can do it. I think just like the fun, the love of the game just gets me going. Well, happy birthday, you know, as a, as a, as a 27-year-old. And, I, and I'm going to love, you know, to see how you continue to grow as a player too, you know, because you've had this style of play. And you're, I think the important thing for you in your career is you're going to have to continue to grow and evolve every year. You know, everyone knows what you can do in your strengths. And my view is like, great, what are our weaknesses? What do we have to improve on? You know, what parts of our game do we always have to make a little bit better? Because people understand your strengths. Mm -hmm. They also see, okay, well, these are the areas we think that can slow him down. And I think for you to stay ahead of everybody, mm -hmm. you have to go, okay, this is what they're thinking. This is what I got to spend my time and energy on. I, I find most players always wanted to spend time on things that they were good at. You know, right. like receivers who were fast, they just wanted to work on their speed in off season. Mm -hmm. You know, linemen who were strong just wanted to work on their strength. Right. You know, as opposed to like, I think linemen should work on how well they bend on, you know, how low they can, you know, how, how they can get in a real powerful position and strike people. Receivers, right. you know, they want to run straight ahead fast, you know, but how often do you want to run in cuts and out cuts and those routes that are really what their job is? You know, it's very rare that we run straight down the field. I mean, right. just on go routes. But, right. you know, for receivers, so I think for quarterback, it's the same thing. Identifying, okay, these are the areas where I want to improve so I can continue to, you know, play like an MVP, which you've certainly done since you came into the league. So, you know, I'm looking forward to watch how you continue to grow and evolve as a player because you have incredible strengths, no doubt. And it's going to be up to you as a young man, Stu, who's only 27, and who's, you know, potentially two MVPs, possibly. Um, and at this rate, you'll have way more than me by the age of 45. So that's, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I appreciate that, Tom. I appreciate yeah. that a lot. <laughs> Jim Gray with Tom Brady and Lamar Jackson. We're here on Let's Go. Hey, Lamar, how are you going to handle the bye week and, and the off time as, as you guys get to sit back and watch everybody else play and then get ready for your next opponent? Uh, just get our bodies in line. Uh, just focus on, you know, whoever come out the game with a victory, whoever our opponent is, just study, the, study them like no tomorrow. You know, just try to study them at the back of my hand like I know the back of my hand because uh, – this year is different, you know, on um, the playoff record or whatever, you know, people are always talking about that's going to be different, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm ready. I'm, I'm really excited, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm really excited, you yeah. know, um, to be in the postseason again and healthy. Um, I'm definitely excited. Lamar, yeah. one of the things that you've had so much in common with Tom is, is the love of his parents. Um, Tom's been with him his whole way. You lost your dad, unfortunately, when you were eight years old, but your mom's mm -hmm. your superhero. Absolutely. And uh, she also helped you negotiate your contract. She was your coach when you were a young, young boy. That's awesome. Um, just tell us about how she's been every step of the way with you. You still live with her and, and, and what she means. Yeah, she means a lot, man. Like like you said, she was my coach, basically my mentor, you know, throughout my whole life. Uh, like that person God gave me, you know, to make the right decisions and stuff like that. Like any time, you know, you got the, the, the choice to do something like you – no, you shouldn't be doing it, or uh, like something the right way, you know, and there's always her voice just popping up in my head, like, you know, the right right and wrong and stuff like that, you know. So she's pretty much just been my, my lifely coach, <laughs> you know. I just want to see you great, you know. Um, like, well, like any um, other parent um, would, you know, from their child, they want them to be great, want them to be safe, you know, motivated, uh, keeping God first with everything I do, like I always say. Um, she's just that woman, you know, that superwoman that you need. She's that person. Yeah, I think that, you know, it's that's amazing foundation that you have. You know, do you have any any personal goals as you continue to play? I know winning a Super Bowl is important, but, you know, the way you take care of yourself and so forth, you know, do you have any ideas about what you want your career to look like as you're, you know, just 27? You're just, you know, you got so much ahead of you. And you've already played a lot of football, so I feel like you have the experience, but you also have such a, you know, you have a great runway ahead, too, if you take care of yourself. Have you thought about your longevity in that sense yeah absolutely you know um well off season you know that's pretty much when you got your plan and stuff like that after this run i definitely have a different approach on you know my off season and get my body right and, and mindset for you know the next the following season and stuff like that i definitely been thinking about that a lot you know but i stay locked in the season while you know while we're in it give me your soundtrack for the playoffs this year i know it was it was kodak black in the past so is there anything you're listening to now 
Oh, man. Um, Any favorite songs? Favorite songs right now? I've been the listening albums, to... I've been artists. listening to uh, the old Lil Wayne, the Carter 2. I've been listening That's to... my like, era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like 2004, <laughs> Wayne, I've been listening to that. You know, that brings me back to my my first year ever playing uh, football. It brings me back to that time, that time frame, and it's been playing out. It's been playing out pretty well. You know, that mindset, that old mindset as a kid. So it's been going what well. Moment, what moment do you as a young man remember most of Tom in his career? Oh, God. Okay. Um, <laughs> I remember a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. I remember a lot. Like, Tom was always in postseason. Like, he was always in the Super Bowl. So throughout my, throughout my childhood, it was like, you know, it's Patriots and whoever in the Super Bowl. <laughs> you know, it was like Tom going to yeah. win almost every year no matter what. Uh, dang, I'm trying to think of one. Okay, Falcons game, Falcons Super Bowl game. That was yeah. crazy. like that was that was one of the greatest games ever. That made me like when we down in games. I'm like, but Tom Brady came back and beat the beat the Falcons in the Super Bowl. So <laughs> no matter what, if we down to something, like yeah. no doubt in my mind, we can come back and win the game no matter what. So that's one of the one of the ones. I'm like that was like that's the goat of goats right there. <laughs> like that was crazy. That was crazy. yeah. And I I feel that way watching you play, man. I don't think you're ever out of it. I think you're always. You got the the ability to inspire your teammates by your action and by your words and your humility and your toughness and your courage and not only your skill set everybody could see that but to me it's your intangibles that make you special so you're never going to lose that you just do more of that and you're going to have incredible success so i love seeing it man keep it out appreciate that song and your likability factor is off the charts don't ever lose that Yes, sir. I appreciate you, Mr. Jim. <laughs> Vice sure. versa. Thank you, Lamar. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Tom, how big is that week off? How much of a help is that? It depends how well you use it. And I think if you use it to your advantage by working hard this week to prepare yourself for a good next week, then it's great. You know, I've come off these ones and not played our best. I've come off by weeks and played our best. And it was really, you know, what use did we make of it? And if we use it in a positive way, it's positive. If we don't, it's a negative. All right, Tom. So we'll see how they use it. And uh, you enjoy your week. I'm sure you'll put your time to good use. And we will talk to you next week right here on Let's Go. All right. All right, y'all. I I really enjoyed that. Like, I know I had the picture over my face because I'm doing multiple things at once. But I was like, you can hear the two goats kind of like gushing over each other you know how like two when you when you have a best friend you haven't talked to that best friend in so long and just like oh, oh, kind of like just like a little kid that's what it was to me and i loved it i loved it i love the part where he tom brady said it was a couple of things i like what tom brady said i'm gonna try to remember all of them but when he said <laughs> it took me like he said it took him like, tw- I think twenty something years or something like that to rush a, rush a uh, thousand yards, and it only took you uh, like three games. That jug had me laughing. That was so. Even Lamar was laughing. That's why I wish we could see the video of it, the whole thing, not just the clip. But I love that. I love the fact that he said, Tom told pretty much told Lamar, don't work on your strengths, work on your weaknesses. And that continually make you better. And he even gave him hints of what the offense, so what Lamar can tell his offensive linemen, what he can tell the wide receivers. I love that. I love that. Like, ooh. And it just makes you think because at the beginning, I don't Adam put this on there, but. I believe Tom was in is in Florida, and my thinking process is after Lamar wins the Lombardi, after he wins the Super Bowl this year, will he practice with? Will he practice with? With you know what I'm saying with Tom? Will they have a get together, go over some film like Roe and Ray Lewis did? Because we know Lamar have said plenty of times that he's a huge Tom Brady fan. Will he go over film and learn how to look at film like in the eyes of like Tom Brady? Like Roe did with Ray Lewis? Like Oh man, it's just that was just that's just awesome. Like I can't wait for the playoffs. I just I just can't wait. But I really 
like really like that. I'm I'm I'll probably listen to that about like two or three more times. I know I definitely listen to it when I'm at work. But I, I really just that was like so freaking cool. Like that was so freaking cool. And I know they had to probably have a conversation after the pod. Lamar probably asked him for some tips, or maybe it was just Tom Berger probably gave him some more tips, knowing that, hey, you only got to win three games. Three games and you are, are a Super Bowl champion. Three. And what better person to ask advice from is the GOAT. Like, and you know Tom they just don't talk to everybody. Uh, woo, I can't wait, y'all. I'm so hyped. Let me let me hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. And God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency. Yeah. To the point if you meant real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. The vibe on 11 really turned up. Really turned up. Really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle. Knob on 11, baby, turn up. Be knocked, let it hit you with the 